Hello everyone, welcome to PA Consulting Pro. This is another video and in this text and this video we are going to calculate dynamic measures in Power BI. One of the user has requested many times that they want to see their today, yesterday, MTD, QTD or YTD sales dynamically. That means they want to slice and dice using a slicer and according to what they have selected in the slicer, their values are going to appear accordingly. So, as you can see on your screen right now, I have the different measures that I have created. That means my sales for today, yesterday, MTD, QTD and YTD. And at the bottom, there is a chart or the visualization where I have date on the X axis and on Y axis, I have my total sales. But the user who requested this, they wanted it to calculate dynamically. That means there should be a slicer. And in the slicer, I should have my today, yesterday, MTD, QTD and YTD values. And according to that, my data should get changed. So how to do that? How to achieve that? Everything I'm gonna explain you in this video. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm gonna let you know everything about it. And I'm sure once you will watch this video, you can utilize this concept in many of your day-to-day -day problems. So enough all the talking, let's get started. first what I'm gonna highlight over here is my data model in my data model I have my date table sales table from the date table date column is connected to the order date in the sales table also you can see there is a table which is my disconnected table which I'm calling my dynamic data here I have my major name and my sort it's a manually entered data table let me show you the data over here so once you will click on this dynamic data in my field spin you will see it has major name today, yesterday, MTD, QTD, and YTD. Then also I have created another column which is basically the sorting order. That means one, two, three, four, five. So you can even change the sorting order according to your own requirement. Once you've done this, what you have to do next? Next you have to create certain measures. That means your sales for today, yesterday, MTD, QTD, and YTD. You have to create them. I have already created and also in my previous text videos, I have already explained the time-based intelligence dex functions and how to use them. If you don't know, please go through my previous videos where I have explained each and every of these dex functions. Here, I'm going to just give you the brief about it. Secondly, what we need to do over here, we are also going to create a new measure and I'm going to show you how to do that. But let's first walk through the measures in the sales table that I have created over here. The very first is the total sales. As you can see on your screen, it's just using the summed X function on the sales amount column. Second one would be my today sales. So sales for today, basically in this one, I don't have data of 2021. So I have data till 2014 only. So what I'm going to do, I'm taking this max date as my today date from my sales table order date i'm taking the maximum of that and i'm considering that my today's date once you've done this then you can also calculate the mtd qtd and ytd which is time intelligence tax functions but before doing those calculations make sure your date table has a date column and that date column has been marked as a date table so over here once you will come into the table tools select your date table first then come under the table tools and here you will see mark as date table once you will click this and it's going to mark your date column in the date table as the date table and if you will try over here it's going to ask me to remove it but i have already marked it so i'm not going to do that in my previous video i have explained this concept many times so please go through our text tutorials and you will get to know everything about it okay then i created first my mtd sales here i'm just using total mtd dax function my measure that total sales I have created and my date column. Similarly, you can change total MTD to total YTD or QTD and you will get your MTD and QTD or YTD sales. That's all. Now, what we are going to do, we have to create a new measure that would take the dynamically values of these MTD, QTD today or yesterday. So for that, I'm coming over here on my sales table. I'm going to create a new measure and I'm going to say it a dynamic measure. So here I can write my code. So basically you have to use a switch statement over here. So 
how to write it let me just try to paste it my code over here otherwise it's gonna take a lot of time i have already done it in my meetup group events as well so i'm just going to directly paste it over here so let me paste it over here and you can see that i have created my my measure or you can say it dynamic measure as well it's up to you what is the name that you want to give it so the very first what i'm doing over here i'm creating a variable name where selected measure in this one i'm using a selected value dex function which is going to take the value from the slicer whatever you are going to select over here and then if none of the value has been selected or all value have been selected it's going to take by default as today now in another variable over here if you will look at it closely i'm creating another variable that is dynamic measure value and here i'm using switch condition so i'm saying switch true that means if it's true selected measure equals to today then it's going to take the today's sales if the selected measure is yesterday it's going to take my yesterday sales and likewise for mtd qtd and ytd that's all you have to do and then you have to return the value because you have already wrote your variables now you have to return the value and i'm going to return this value dynamic measure value into my return statement that's all you need to do just select it and your part is done over here so that was the hardest part that you have to do. If you know these measures, it's very easy to do. Trust me. Now we are going to come into the next page and over here, first I'm going to show you what are my values coming, like my sales or total sales value according to date. For that, I'm going to take this table visualization over here. I'm going to bring my date column into the values as well as my total sales. So guys, I have formatted this table and if first I show you the total sales, so this should match with this one. So what I can do first, let me just format the total sales measure up to two decimal places only. If you will unformat this value, it's going to return you the same value. So just for the demonstration purpose, I'm showing you so that you won't say that data is wrong or something. So now you can see that values are exactly matching over here now this is just the total sales now what we want to do we want to create a measure and that measure is gonna use our newly created measure which i'm calling my measure so let me first bring my card over here and i'm calling it my measure and this measure by default is using today's value here you can see 2.6 k and it's the same value over here now we can create our slicer over here so guys, now you can see I have my total sales. It's matching with this one. That means the data is coming correct. And by default, since all has been selected or if I select all, this value is going to be same because by default, it's going to be today's value. Now let's select one by one. Here, if I select today, today, as I mentioned to you, it should be my maximum day value. And here you can see this is the maximum date over here, which is 25, uh, 28th of January 2014. And it's going to give me... 427th it should give me 1.4 so let's see whether it's going to give me this or not so we select it and it's going to give me the same value similarly if i select the ytd over here it should give me the ytd value which is going to give it over here now mtd and qtds are coming blank so you have to give me the answer why this mtd or qtd values are coming blank so that's a question for you guys i'll provide you the link of this file in the description section and you have to let me know why the values are coming as blank and how we can solve that problem so that's all guys for this today's video i hope now it's very much clear for you that how we can dynamically select the major values and according to that our data can vary and if you are over here for the very first time please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest power updates and videos